what's up everyone thanks for checking in with me again uh that was sky high reef this is going to be a quick update video on my uh, tank transfer from the 30 gallon nuvo system to the new 90 gallon system um and so far everything has been going good i actually didn't incur any losses with this tank transfer uh, it was my first time ever transferring tanks i did it over the course of three days while moving rock and moving all the water over from the nano um, one of the things I think I did that allowed me to have success was I kept my Nano running and I continued to do water changes in it using the old wastewater from the Nano that I would normally toss. I actually used it inside of the new system and I did that for about a week. My cycle was very short. Like I said, I was able to transfer all of my corals to fish everything over within three days and not have any losses. So for me, I do think that was the key to the success of everything working and skipping that cycling, you know, section of the tank. Now I am in the stage now where I'm getting the diatoms and I'm getting some algae growing inside of the system from the old rock. Um, but all in all, I think it's doing very well. I think over time that diatom bloom will go away through water changes and cleaning the sand and whatnot. Um, and as far as the algae is concerned, I did make a purchase for some new fish that are being quarantined right now. Um, I was able to get it through a wholesaler that will actually hold the fish for me for a week, put them through a small quarantine, making sure they're eating, making sure they don't have any ick or anything like that. So that way when they're coming into the new system, I'll be good to go. As far as algae is concerned, one of the fish I did get was a dream fish. I'm actually going to be picking up a yellow tang from Hawaii medium-sized fish and I'm hoping that it'll take care of a lot of this algae that's growing in the system that's new. Um, these fish are fresh from Hawaii. Uh, they were actually brought over a few days ago, purchased, now they're in QT. I'm also going to be adding two purple antheas. Um, I know they're harder fish to keep because they're finicky eaters, but I did want to start with something like that as I've never really kept fish, so to speak, aside from my two clowns but it'll give me that good area to where I can make some videos where I can learn how to maintain a reef with more finicky fish and just really be able to do something different inside of the system and really show off what I'm able to do. Other upgrades that I've done in the system is I've also changed out some of my bulbs in the T5 hybrid system. I went with two Heisman Super Atinic and Super Purple uh, bulbs, also running with my ATI blue plus, blue plus bulbs. For me, it's still a little too white, so I do think I'm gonna drop one of the blue pluses and just add a regular actinic bulb, just to get more of that blue look that I'm used to from the hydras on the nano system since I ran them mostly blue full time. I do like them, um, and so far everything is working. All of my corals seem to be doing good. All of my zoas are still growing. I'm not losing any color on them, as you can see there with the utter chaos in the rostas. Everything's looking good. Aside from some algae issues, like I said, I had some stuff that transferred over from the small tank into this new system. And I'm just gonna be hoping that I'm able to remove them and get them out before anything really takes off. Here in this shot, you can really see that diatom and the algae on the new rocks. All of this rock, a lot of it was live, life rock from Carib Sea, some Marco base rock some stack straw. It was a combination of a lot of things. Um, but so far, everything is working really well. Next weekend, there will be a frag swap here in Miami in which I plan on purchasing some new corals and adding to them. Aside from that, should be a, a good setup for the next week or two. Um, my calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium have been holding steady with the Aquaforce program. I'm down to the levels of the salt mixing up to. Um, I'm consuming about half a DKH per day, which is surprising because I thought that with three times the water volume, I would be able to drop that consumption, being that there would be more in the water, but <laughs> I don't think that seems to be the case. I think the corals are still sucking up just as much as they did before. So I do need to get some components one, two, three in and uh, go ahead and plug the doser back in and start dosing the system in this week coming up since the water changes aren't going to be able to really maintain the reef how I thought it would. So it was definitely a learning curve, um, but it would be fine. I've been doing this for a while now and I am used to it. So far, all the corals look good. Like I said, I haven't had any losses. All my ACANs, all of my Zoas, all of my SPS, 
in my Walt Disney, I did lose a little color, but you know, I had a huge elk spike and then the elk came back down, but now everything's back to normal. I am surprised I didn't lose anything. It makes me kind of wonder when people say, oh yeah, you know, your elk goes up, your elk goes down, you're gonna lose everything. You know, but stability is key and maybe I got lucky, maybe I didn't, uh, but so far it's working. Uh, as you can see there, my clowns are now, the anemone is now hosting the clown. Uh, it's been a year and a half since I've had them. And at first they went in there and then they never went back because they do live in the Zolas. But I'm super stoked about this because now they're hosting. Um, I'm hoping maybe they'll start breeding in the near future and you know, just a better environment. They seem to be more happy. Um, I'll drop another video next week. I just wanted to put out a quick update for those of you who wanted to know how the reef was doing. Uh, make sure you stop back in. I just want to say thank you and enjoy the video.